Mission's about the size of Texas, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, it's shaped kind of like this. It's got like a city up at the top, Kolyzhevsk. That's the northernmost city. Goes down across, along the Volga River to Saratov. That's the southernmost city that we serve in. And then off to the west, there's Penza, and off to the east, there's Orenburg. And then uh, you have a bunch of cities just kind of along the river. Um, and for the whole mission, when I got there, there were about 120 missionaries. Um, but then for a year, they didn't call Americans because of visa troubles. So it got down to about 60 missionaries by the time I left. Um, but then they started calling missionaries to Russia again, right about the time I was leaving. So it's probably up, I don't know, 150 maybe now, because there are so many missionaries. I don't really know though. Um, I've been home for about five years, so that's probably a lot more than it was. Um, but the visas were tricky for a while. Um, I was in the last group to get a visa that was good for a year. Um, and then we had to renew our visas every three months after that expired. Um, so I ended up going to Stockholm and Latvia and Kazakhstan a few times to renew my visa, migration card and stuff, which was cool, but it was, it was like bittersweet. It's like, all right, it's almost like a vacation. But like my investigators are back in my mission and, and like, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I want to go teach more and, and you can't proselyte cause it's not your mission. So you're just kind of like studying, just anxious to get back out and, and teach. Um, but they figured out a really cool system. The American government stepped in and they're helping out. So each missionary gets two passports now and you'll have your active visa and one passport. And then when it's about to expire, you send your second passport out of the country to get it formulated get everything figured out, all the forms and everything. And then you just hop across the border, grab it, and then come back with your new visa. And then when this is about to expire, you send your other passport over and just kind of cycle through so you don't have to spend a month out of the country like we had to while we waited for our visas to get ready. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty neat how the government stepped up to help us out because you're not supposed to have two passports, but they made an exception for, for the church and the missionaries in Russia. It's pretty neat. Uh, so we live in apartments. Uh, the mission kind of coordinates what apartments they can rent for missionaries and just pay rent every month to landlords. Uh, they're usually pretty nice. It kind of depends on the area and everything, but they're good apartments. Um, normally, it's just one companionship to an apartment because there aren't that many missionaries in the mission. It might not be like that now. There might be more, um, but you'll have to tell me. Uh, but yeah, great living conditions. They're fine. You're right in your area, which is nice. You don't have to you know, go out of your way to get there. Um, as far as transportation goes, we never had cars or bikes or anything. Russia's pretty, Russian cities are usually pretty compact. Um, so we did a lot of walking, which is great. My first area, we could walk across the entire area in maybe 20 minutes, um, which is really nice. If you do need to go further, there is fantastic public transport in Russia. Um, there are bus systems uh, that are very regular. Uh, they've got taxis all over the place. And then my favorite was, uh, they're called Marshrutka, which is just like a little route, you know, they take a little route. And there's like these 16 seater buses uh, or vans that they'll have a number in the window. That's their route. They'll go to you know, these different stops and you just jump on and give you know, 10 or 15 rubles. It's like, you know, it was like 15 cents. Now it'd be like 10 cents um, to the driver and, you know, go where you're going. And, um, and it's a great way to get around and it's super convenient. You get anywhere you need to go. Super easy. Uh, I liked it way better than driving or biking or anything. It's just total freedom to go where you need to go. And you get a great workout. I mean, walking around all the time. Who doesn't like that, right? It's fantastic.